I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Community Affairs and we're here today to talk about an event that's been happening every year for many many years that everyone looks forward to and it's the Queen Anne's County Fair and it's August 10th through the 15th and we're gonna have different um, interviews with different people who handle um, some of the different activities that are at the fair so today I have Faith um, Elliot Rossing with us and she's gonna tell us about the cream of the crop which is the cow show Am I saying, is it okay to say cow show? Sure, I don't know if it's sure. a fancier it's a, name. It's a cow show, but yep. it's, a, it's a special cow show. It's held on Wednesday evening. So this year it'll be on Wednesday, August 12th okay. at 8 o'clock in the main show ring. So people can come out, go to the chicken barbecue, and then come hang out around the main show ring and watch a cow show under the lights in the dark. And the cows have uh, glitter on them sometimes. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, the judges <laughs> and the tucks. It's a big deal. <laughs> and I, I know that this is all different ages, right? Yeah. Well, there's actually two, all different age exhibitors. Right. But there's only right. two age groups as far as the cows go. Right, but the, the right. kids and that exactly. are exhibiting. And so what are the ages that the kids do? The kids do, they can be anywhere from as they can walk and hold the lead with someone else wow. with them up to the adults. So, okay. Yeah. And then what do they get judged on? The cows are judged on confirmation as to how well they meet the breed specifics of whatever breed they are. And it doesn't matter just so long as it's a dairy cow. This is definitely a dairy show, not okay. a beef show. So um, it'll be interesting to see what we have. We usually have a mix. Um, Holsteins are predominantly, the black and white Holsteins are predominantly the ones that we see, but we also see red and white Holsteins or okay. Jerseys, Guernseys, Ashars, doesn't really matter. But it's just really fun. For years we had only the two-year-old class and the cows had to be two years old and they had to have freshened at least once, meaning that they had to have calved at okay. least once. And then last year for the first year we added a junior yearling or a summer yearling class, which means that the heifers, their heifers, they have not calved were born any time between June 1st of 2014 and August 31st of 2014. So it just offers a different opportunity for younger children to participate. Did you get more participation? We did. We did. It was really wonderful that. And we went out and got sponsorships last year and up the uh, prizes. So there was a lot of interest generated from that. So what what type of prizes do they can they win? Well, last year first, second and third in the junior yearling class was 300, 200, 100. Okay. And then and the two-year-old class was five hundred, three hundred, one hundred dollars. I think not, it was one hundred dollars. Not, yeah, not, wasn't anything not a pittance, right? Not for That's, a thirty-dollar entry fee. Heck yeah. So yeah, but it really does bring out a lot of the people who are interested in the dairy industry, but. Um, not that many dairies in Queen Anne's County anymore, so right. hopefully this year we'll pull in a few people from other jurisdictions as well. We're looking forward to it. I think just seeing the kids work with the animals as big as they are, I, that that was right. what fascinated me. And, and the kids all dress in the same... Uh, white. White. White on white. Right. When they show. Standard, so dairy, it's, standard dairy show. Yep, so post. it's very proper and, you know, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Well... And it's kind of done under the... The judge doesn't see the cows when they're announced, so he really doesn't know the cows. He may know the people on the halter, but he doesn't right. really know uh, the cows at that point in time. So That's what I was going to ask. There's Calvin. an air of you know secrecy about what's going on, okay. but it's fun. Very nice. And um, and then the cows. Did, there's a how many barns? A couple barns of cows mm -hmm. out there. So all during the fair, people can come out and see the different absolutely cows that are Dairy there. Cows, beef cows, whatever. Yep. Of course, after the show, we always encourage people to either go get a milkshake or go get uh, ice cream from the Holstein booth because that really helps to support the dairy industry. Also, there we go. All right, so it's Wednesday, August twelfth, and eight what's the eight o'clock at night? Mm -hmm. So come out and see the cows being shown. It's it's absolutely. really something to see. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.